I'm Rochelle Ford Rabinell. Can you spell that for me? That's R U S C H I L L E. Ford as in Henry Ford. Okay. And Rabinell, R E V E N E L L. So you are the, you're the VP of the club? I am the co captain of the Northeast Columbia Sub Club, yes. Great. So tell me, like, how did you get into this? How did this get started? Well, actually, the club itself started May of 2016 in Chicago by two women, Pam Pelt Robinson and, Ka and Katrina Dyer Taylor. Pam was having some issues in her personal life, and she reached out to a friend, and she wanted to jump double dutch. And she asked her what, she, what did she think about getting a few girls together so she could blow off some steam, get her head out of, out of that bad space. And she thought it was a good idea. So what they did was reach out on Facebook and ask their friends, did they want to jump? And the next thing you know, they put an event out on Facebook and people showed up. And before, when that was so successful, they thought the change didn't make it something more permanent. And that's where 40 Plus Double Dutch Club was created. So the emotional aspect of it, like you were saying, like she kind of used to clear in her head. And yeah, she, she, something else, is that why you joined? Most definitely, you know, as mothers or just women over the age of 40, it's not the same as it was when you were 18, you know. You find that life can give you a whole lot to deal with, and you want something positive, a positive way to blow off steam and exercise too, and that's how we ended up here. So we get to meet women 40 plus of different ages and backgrounds, I mean, different 40 plus ages and backgrounds, and we share through, we fellowship through fun, fitness, and we just enjoy ourselves. There's no, it breaks the monotony of day-to-day -day life. You know, you come out and you bring back the nostalgic side when you were a kid, jumping double dutch or hula hooping with your friends. And it's, it's a good place to clear your head. And we enjoy it. Yeah. So how, how many people normally like come to the Northeast Columbia Generally, because this is volunteer basis, our members come whenever their schedule permits. On a good day, we can have up to 10, 12 people. And on a day like this, we have four because we're on the side of rain. You know, we have people who will come in straight from work and don't have time to go home because we make it a point to leave the bag in, leave a bag in the car just so we can get out and go. Because you have to be ready. Absolutely. <laughs> and like, this is just so cool and like so fun. Most definitely. You can learn in one in one take, as you already saw that. You, know? you thought it was gone, and it comes back. It's just like riding a bike. Absolutely. Awesome. So you had mentioned, too, that your mom comes to the Well, my mom is the oldest member in this sub-club. Her name is Carolyn Ford Turner. Hi, Mom! She does not jump. <laughs> she will not jump. But she has a set of pom poms to cheer us on, and she can do chair. She can do aerobics from the chair, and she can do line dancing. We have other members who are active at the age of 62, and we have one, we have two 62 year olds, and we have, also have one who's 67, and she jumps as well. That's wild to me that she's 67 and jumps. Yeah, well, you know, even and she has a bad knee, but she gives it her all anytime she shows up. And that's all it's all about, you know. You go and try to do something that you hadn't done in a long time, and you just turn it into something fun. And that's what we do. And we enjoy it. And we come back twice a week. We're here at Hyatt Park on Thursdays from 6.30 to 8.30. And on Sundays, we're here for the summer at Hyatt Park also from 2.30 to 4.30. But normally during the school year, we're at Greenview Park on Sundays from... 2.30 to 4.30, and every other Saturday at Greenview Park at from 11.30 until.